Hello YouTube friends and welcome to Grow Money Seeds, a channel about managing your money and building wealth. My goal for this channel is to produce content that will help you understand the world of finance in plain and simple English so that anyone at any age can start to improve their financial situation and achieve their financial goals. Right, so let's get to it. Okay, so just like building a house, we need to start by laying a solid foundation. So we're gonna start by laying our wealth foundation with the secret formula. What is that formula, you may ask? It's a simple three-part formula. Avoid debt, look for opportunities to earn more money, and invest your savings wisely. Now, I know this sounds really basic, but in reality, very few people actually put this into practice. I'd encourage you to watch this video and try to implement some of these changes. Small changes now can make a significant difference in the future. All right, so let's tackle the first part of that formula, that evil word called debt. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you have debt and you keep accumulating debt, you'll never be wealthy. Debt is truly evil and it can easily spiral out of control. Realistically, most of us will have to borrow money at some stage and debt is a part of life. However, if you have to borrow money, it should only be on big ticket items like a house, a business or perhaps a car. If you have this debt, then these repayments should be easily affordable. When I say easily affordable, I mean you should be able to pay off the installments and still have some money left over to pay off a portion of the capital. Remember not to overextend yourself and only buy what you can afford. If you can afford this debt, the more you pay towards the debt, the cheaper it becomes and the quicker you get out of debt. Since most of us already have debt, we need to have a plan to manage this and reduce it as quickly as possible. Without a plan, we're almost certain to fail. So make a plan and stick to it. A management plan will vary from person to person, but these seven steps will help you on your way. Step one is drawing up a budget. This will help you understand how much money you have coming in, that's your income, and how much money is going out, that's your expenses. I put together an Excel spreadsheet that can be used to help you with your budget. I've put a link in the description below if you'd like to download it. The first section of the budget is to calculate your total income. This will include things like your salary, rental from an investment property, interest from savings and investments. The second section is to list your total expenses. Examples of these would be your mortgage or your rent, car repayments, groceries, and so on. Now, subtract the expenses from the income. The difference should be about 20% of your total income. This leftover money is what you use to pay your debt or invest. If your leftover amount is less than this, then we need to start doing some budgeting. Step two is budgeting. Look carefully at your expenses. Are there things there that are costing you too much or you don't need, like that over-the-top phone contract or that gym membership that you've only used once or twice since you've signed up? You need to try and trim wherever possible and see if there's anywhere you can reduce your expenses. You might only be able to save a little bit per month, but over a year, this all adds up. If we can lower our expenses, we can now allocate some of our remaining money towards our debt or put towards an investment. Just remember that 20% rule. Step three, pay off high interest debt first. Look at your debt and the interest and the fees being charged. High debt is a killer, so start by paying off the highest debt first from the money saved from the budget. Some people think that if they've managed to save some money, then it would be better saved or invested. This is generally not true and only makes sense if you can find an investment that'll give you a higher return than the interest on the debt. 
With credit card interest rates being as high as 20%, finding an investment with a return greater than 20% will be extremely difficult. Put away those credit cards. Cut them up. Do whatever is needed not to use your credit cards or store cards for necessary things. Step four is making debt cheaper. We can look at consolidating the debt and making it cheaper. Not everyone can do this, but if you have a home loan and the interest rate is 4% and your credit card interest rate is 20%, then it makes sense to move your credit card debt to your home loan. This now gives you more money to pay off the capital on the debt and will pay it off faster. Step five is making more money. If you have debt, it means you've been spending more than you've been earning. We need to find avenues to bring in more money. Some ideas might include things like clearing out those cupboards and selling unnecessary things. You might just be surprised how much money a garage sale can bring in. You could also look at working a second job. This could be something as simple as selling cakes at the local market on a Saturday or making and selling sandwiches for people at work. Perhaps you could even negotiate your salary with your company or even look for a job that pays more if you're not being paid the industry norm. What about upskilling yourself and studying a course or a degree that would allow you to move up the career ladder and earn more money? Step six, this is saving for an emergency fund. Life can sometimes throw us a curveball and we need to have an emergency fund. As a rule of thumb, it would be a good idea to save the equivalent of three to six months of your monthly expenses. Having this fund would mean we don't have to dig out those credit cards if the unforeseen happens, and then we just start the whole debt cycle again. Step seven is investing. Once you've addressed your debt and have your emergency fund set up, it will now be a good time to actually make your money work for you and not you working for your money. Investing is not putting your money into the bank, but rather investing in vehicles that give you the best bang for your buck and use the magic of compounding interest to grow your wealth. Unfortunately, there's no quick fix to getting out of debt, but the sooner you start, the sooner you'll be on your road to building wealth. A final thought is a quote from Warren Buffett, where he says, if you buy things you don't need, soon you'll have to sell things you need. If you found the content of this channel useful and would like to be notified when a new video is released, then please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. This will help my channel grow and hopefully help others to achieve their financial independence. In future videos, we'll be looking at different aspects of finance, various investment ideas and strategies to create wealth. Thanks for watching.